At Focus on Liberia, we discuss everything Liberia, from education to politics, arts and culture, entertainment, agriculture, history, religion, family, and technology. Focus on Liberia uncovers and showcases the best of Liberia and shows the world the truth about Liberia. We educate, elevate, and promote all things Liberia. We conduct interviews, panel discussions, debates, and more. Tune in to Focus on Liberia on Facebook and YouTube and be a part of the stories that make up the news. This is Focus on Liberia. And I am Dennis John. The government that is transparent, open, and fair to deliver service to the Liberian people who for many years have been yearning for a responsive government. With that, I would like to welcome you again. And thank you. Thank you, sir. Hello, Governor. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you very much. And let me welcome those of you who are following. Um, ELBC is carrying it live and other um, national radio stations as well and television stations. But we we'll also like to inform the public that the executive mansion stage is as well carrying um, this event live. And those of you who are following, we'd like to welcome you to this event, which is program in commemoration of the first 100 days in office of President Joseph Newman Wakai. With not much I do, it is an honor to invite His Excellency President Joseph Yuma Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Vice President, <laughs> members of the cabinet, uh, I've, been, um, I've been quite Some days of time and a few days yesterday. We learned the was ushered in 100 days ago. It was again the backdrop of the people in a country wanting a responsive government that will bring much relief from years of deprivation, indignity, and insecurity. We started this journey together with the faith that we can face and address our difficulties past 100 days, including progress made, some of the challenges confronting us, and setting long-term development goals to improve the living standard of Liberians in the coming years. Fellow citizens, Given the urgency to provide immediate relief to millions of Liberians 
during the first quarter of the year, my government had launched a 100 day development plan. In this plan, we considered addressing urgent needs. by intervening in critical sectors. These interventions and commissions were informed by the following key objectives. The first, the need to ensure accountability in the public sector was a major objective on opinion service delivery in the first 100 days. Therefore, addressing transparency and accountability in the public sector by undertaking robust and grab gra 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 measures, including strengthening financial oversight and promoting ethical practices across all sectors to combat corruption was seen as a critical step to removing barriers. Second, as citizens of this country continue to be confronted with the seemingly perennial problems of poor roads and accessibility, addressing the infrastructure needs was a priority objective of this plan. Focusing on the maintenance of major roads Corridors improving sanitation service, providing critical meteorological equipment and upgrading ICT systems at the only international airport in the country was considered a major attempt of bringing relief to the citizens. Third, resting two fundamental issues consequential to the future of our country in terms of expanding educational opportunities and combating the drug and substance abuse scourge was an important objective to bolster this plan. My government, therefore, saw under this plan, the need to support education for struggling students and implement intervention to rescue at risk youth overtaken by a drug epidemic. Four policy ch changes aim at improving economic development where fundamental objective of this plan. In this quarter, initial reforms and capacity building in agriculture, tourism, and commerce were seen as building blocks for our long-term economic development. The voter to the 100-day development plan was the need to introduce key legislations crucial to our governance process and to the promotion of potential growth in the foreign tourism sector. In these past 100 days, and despite limited resources, we were able to make significant gains against interventions we set out in various sectors. It is important to, to mention that what will be outlined in the address is by no means exhaustive. As a full report on the deliverables for the first 100 days of my administration, will be released in the, to the public 
in future. The agriculture sector. We have taken major steps to boost agriculture. We achieve our goal of reducing rice importation by 70% started this quarter with the acquisition and cultivation of 2,000 hectares of land in Bong, Lofa, and Nimba counties. To date, the Ministry of Agriculture has begun the cultivation of 1,000 hectares of low land at Fuama Multipurpose Corporation in Bong County. In addition, the government has launched and started the cultivation of the University of Liberia farms in Fender, which is aimed at feeding students, generating income, and for practical training and research. In the health sector, our efforts to intervene in healthcare have not only aimed to provide essential medications and increase access to quality health care, but also to gradually restore the confidence of our people and development partners in the health care system plagued, plagued by years of corruption and poor service. To this end, we are pleased to report that in keeping with our intervention to sustain the availability of essential medicines, and we have been very careful to say essential drugs, essential medicine and medical supplies with reduction of stock out, the government has ensured that essential medicines and medical supplies are distributed to 100% of drug reports of 13 counties in the country. <laughs> With last my distributions to Montserrado and Margibi counties having been achieved 100%. To improve diagnostic capacity at the health centers address critical illness. The government has identified site to build four regional diagnostic centers in the country. As the minister will recall, it's one of the things that said we have to do. Fellow Liberians, in January this year, we declared the drug and substance abuse epidemic in the country, a national health emergency. As a result, the government saw the need to address what is perhaps one of the most troubling social crises of the modern era in Liberia. Mm -hmm. We are happy to announce that several interventions to combat the crisis have already been made this quarter in keeping with this intermediation. Similarly, a robust public awareness campaign to dissuade young people from drug use it has been taking place in schools, communities, churches, and mosques. In addition, at risk youth program has been transitioned from rehabilitation to recovery and reintegration. <laughs> to show further commitment to 
suffering from the neuropsychiatric hospital. Still on the health front, and for good measure, our intervention has yielded Substantial result there. Road rehabilitation and infrastructure. A key target for the government deliverable for the first 100 days was the reconditioning of roads to ensure that they are pliable to create access and boost economic. Our 100 days action plan for road maintenance. We earmark 11 key projects across the country to make sure their primary role. The Ministry of Public Works has been undertaking major road corridor projects totaling 783.5 kilometers. In Bong, Lofa, Bomi, Bapulu, Nimba, Grandjira, River Sears, Grand Basin, Sino, Maryland, and Grand Cru County. <laughs> to date, contractors, equipment, and logistics have been heavily mobilized and active work such as clearing, drilling, shipping, and stabilization of critical spots. Identification of COVID line and boring Pits for mater material testing along all corridors are ongoing. Rooms of equipment and road crew have been identified to ensure roads are maintained all year round. I am pleased to report that as a result of these interventions, we are receiving reports from citizens that travel time between counties has substantially been reduced. <laughs> public administration. Strengthening public administration for efficiency, including payroll and personnel audits across the MSCs to eliminate waste and save the government urgently needed funds as we have acquired the trucks, the equipment needed, and have begun to clear the sewage system in Monrovia. Similarly, we have begun to restore the water supply to central Monrovia. Bushal Island, Kakata, and Bukhan. <laughs> Education. We have made strides in meeting our targets in youth capacity building in ICT for the first six months. To date, government of Liberia has a larger funds for the payment of arrears for both local and international scholarship students. These areas include underwriting expenditures such as 
monthly allowances, resettlement assistance, air ticket course, French language, language training program, and other administrative and operational costs associated with students' well-being. Additionally, my administration in inherited a debt of nearly $6 million of unpaid fees to West African Examination Council, set by the students. That's why the million had been appropriated in the fiscal year 2024 budget for the payment of the white fees. The complete digital training program and startup seed funding for new capacity building ICT has been developed with major facilities to host the tra training already assessed in seven counties. The project has already been launched with thousands of enterprising young Liberians in queue to register. Legislative agenda. Choose fellow citizens. In my annual message in January, I proposed several legislation focused on shaping the outcomes we desire from our development agenda. Today, I'm happy to announce that we have submitted three bills to meet our legislative agenda for the first 100 days. The following draft laws were submitted during the quarter. The Presidential Transition Act, the Bill for Establishment of the Ministry of Local Government, and the National Tourism Bill. The challenges, fellow Liberians, despite these achievements, we've also acknowledged that challenges remain. We have tried to meet these targets with limited resources in our entire fiscal space. In addition, we have inherited a system that was bedeviled by weak institutions and therefore under extreme stress. Vestiges of the past still stare at us and undermine service delivery to citizens. The road ahead is not without obstacles, and we must remain vigilant in our efforts to overcome them. We are committed to addressing the issues of corruption and improving the material and social condition of all Liberians. Looking forward, my dear compatriots, we look forward to the future with hope and optimism. The people of this country are the most important reason why we are here and why we serve, and therefore delivering services to them should be our, of the true, our true objective. In the next few months, we will unveil our national development plan clearly expression economic, political, and social strategies we intend to employ with your participation to drive our country in the direction that we improve a better quality of life for Liberians. Yes, the 100 days is not a comprehensive measure of a six-year administration. It is one thing to res rescue a country from the corruption and decay and mismanagement. It is entirely another thing to set it on the track and the right trajectory. That, however, remains our challenge and responsibility 
and librarian people have entrusted to my administration. I am determined as a leader to chart a course that will not let our people down. So, as we reflect on the progress of the past 100 days, let us recommit ourselves to the transformation of our country and continue to work together, united in our common vision for a prosperous and peaceful Liberia. With determination and perseverance, we will build a nation that is highly respected globally and one that we can all be proud of. In the meantime, let me thank the legislatures for their cooperation and support in ensuring that we achieve what we have achieved. And I therefore encourage all Liberians to join us to think Liberia, love Liberia, and build Liberia together. May God bless us and save our state.
Thank you very much. And with the president and the vice president members of the cabinet, this concludes the program of the first 100 day of this. Thank you to the media and have yourselves a wonderful evening. We are Yeah.